Hey everybody, this is Kathy Crowder's Mountain, North Carolina. I've got something fun for us to do today, but it's going to take a little while to explain it. But we're going to make, in honor of the 4th of July, we're going to make an eagle within a star. Now, I had already done this one. And if I can think about it, I'll put it. At, uh, I'll put a picture of it. It's out on one of my buildings. But a subscriber sent this one to me, and wanted to know if I would do it. And so I thought, well, I've got one coming up on July the third. But to give you time to paint one for the fourth of July, if you wanted to, I thought, well, yeah, I'll go ahead and do this one. All right, now, I did this one, not trying to explain it to anybody but my own self, and it turned out, but I have practiced this about three or four times, and each time I think, oh, I should have said it this way, or I should have said it that way. So this is going to be about the fifth time that I've drawn this pattern out. And if I can't say it any better now than I did before I started practicing, I'm not going to be able to explain it. So y'all just hold on and, and wish me the best. And I want to do this for you guys because I, first of all, I promised the subscriber that I would do it. But I just think, I think you guys are going to like it too. My problem is, I move my paper around and I get it out of the screen. So I'm going to try to leave that camera alone unless I zoom in a couple of times. And then I got to remember to zoom back out. So, y'all just hang on. It's going to be a little ride here, but it'll be bumpy, but we'll get it done. All right, the first thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to make a one inch border around mine. So, I'm going to mark it, I'm going to mark my, you're going to be marking your board and I'm going to be marking my paper. Now I haven't painted this one yet, so I can't show you as I go along, but I am going to do this in two parts. So this will be the first part and I'll do, because it's just going to take a while. And so the next part, part two, will be me painting it and referencing the pattern. And I think that it will make it a lot more clear. You can do this one too. It's not easy, but you can do it. And if you've done barn quilts before, it's probably gonna be easy. But anyway, I'm marking my my paper at one and at 23 because I'm going to make that one inch border. And I'm going to let the camera roll just in case somebody has not made one before and they decide that this one is the one that they're going to try to tackle first. And you know what? Go for it. If you can do this one, you get this one figured out. There's not many more that you can't figure out. I can guarantee that. So don't be scared. Just jump in and do it. If you've got to do it scared, do it scared. <laughs> what I say. Okay, now all I'm going to do is just connect my tick marks and have my one inch border slinging this paper all over here, trying to make sure it stays in the camera.
Here you go. Alright, so we've got our one inch border. Now it was important to go ahead and do that. If you're going to put a border around it, do it first. Because it'll help you stay centered where you need to be when you're drawing your pattern. All right, so for our pattern, what we need is a six by six inch block on each corner. So that's how what we're gonna do now. So I'm, I'm giving up that big ruler over here. I'm using a small one. And all I'm gonna do is mark, tick mark at six. And I'm gonna measure six inches over here. Make a tick mark. And I'm gonna do that all the way around. I'll do these two first. Alright, now the reason I did these two is because I want to make sure my lines are straight. So I'm going to put the zero right on that tick mark. And I'll have my 22 right here. Alright, so I'm going to make sure it's straight. And I'm going to just draw a line from 0 to 6. And then I'm going to draw a line from 22 to 16. And that's 6 inches. And then I'm going to just make sure I line that up with my tick mark. Make sure which one's right now. One's a little bit longer than the other. That's six. Well, that's six too. I guess maybe it wasn't longer than the other one. Maybe it was just, I had my ruler up there crooked. My eyeballs are crooked. All right, that's a six by six. I'm gonna write that. Right here, in case you're taking screenshots. All right, now we're going to go around here and do this one the same thing. I'm just going to measure it at six. 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 It's six. Now, we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to line it up. Make sure it's straight. our six inch blocks and then now I'm going to line it up and try to line it up with that up there too and you'll know you're getting it straight right, here you go now we've got our block I'll twist it back around now Okay, we've got our four six inch blocks. And now what we want to do is connect this point and that point. And then we're going to come back and connect this one to that one. And we're, what we're doing now is just basically drawing an eight point star. So if you already know how to draw an eight point star, you'll, you'll be fine. See, these lines are 14 and a fourth. Now we need 12 inch lines. 
but so that I can know that I got my 12 inch lines just as straight as I did the rest of them. I'm putting my marker at, at zero and 10 and I'm gonna make a tick mark at five. And I'm gonna do that over here too. Mark it five. I'm gonna do it at the bottom. And at the top. And I'll show you why. Because I want my lines straight. And that's the way I'm gonna make sure they're straight. Right, now like I said, these lines, these next two lines, I think I said that only needs to be 12 inches. So you got two at 14 and a fourth and you're gonna have two at 12 inches. So I, so I lined it up over here so I know I'll get it straight. I put my ruler right at 12. So I'm just gonna add six inches. My marker's kind of fat. My, Add six inches, go out to 18, and then I'm going to go out to six to the left. So I've got 12 inches. And I'm going to do the same way. I'm going to line that up, crossing right over the center. I'm going to put that 12 right in the center. And I've got it all lined up. And I'm going from six to 18. So that's 12 inches as well. All right, you could take a snapshot of that. You want me to write that in there? Well, if I write that in there, it's gonna mess up. Well, it won't mess, I can do it this way. And then this one, I'm afraid that'll mess it up when I'm putting my, I'll put it out here for these two. And that way if you take a screenshot of it, you'll have it. It'll mess up our labeling of the little blocks if I do anything different. All right, so now what I could do is just take my ruler and connect them just like this. But what I like to do is to make sure my stars are as straight as they can be. I'm lining it up up here at the top left with the bottom right down here. Now I'm not going to draw into here. I'm just drawing, making that point of the star and making this point of this point in the star. So I didn't mark in here. But see, now I know my lines are straight as they can be. All right, now let's do this one. We're still at the top, but we're at the right-hand side, and we're at the right-hand side down here at the bottom. We're just going to line that up. Then we need to do this one. You have to kind of stare at it a minute. <laughs> so I'm not going inside here. Yeah, now I, you know, I could have just went and done one at a time and that would have been fine, but this way it just ensures that your lines are straight and parallel with one another and you've got an eight point star. Now you could take that and paint it in different ways and you'd have another pattern like you, you could divide that in half and have dark light, dark light of color all the way around. But that's not what we're doing today. But you could if you wanted to. All right, take a screenshot of that.
and let's see, let's start marking it off, and the way I'm going to do it, I am going to mark each one in a separate color, and also, I'll tell you what else I'm going to do, I'm going to label these. So this is going to be one, this one's going to be point two, three, four, five, six, so you know what I'm talking about, seven, when I'm referencing something. So there's eight, so we've got eight points, and each one is going to be in a different color. I'm telling you, it's not that complicated, but to me, it's easier to explain it if I have it like that. All right. So what we're going to do, we're going to take these two sections, and hopefully I'll remember to bring you back up. But here's the two sections that we're going to work with. We're going to work with six and seven. Alright, so these lines are six inches long. We need to divide each one of our star points into six rows and six blocks. So here's how we're going to do that. If I can find the zero. We're going to take these short rows that are six inches long. Like I said, we need we need to divide them into six, so that's pretty simple. We're just going to divide them at one, three, four, and five, and that gets our six blocks. Our six tick marks. So they'll be one inch each. Divided into one inch sections. See? Alright, now I got those three. Now the long ones are different. These four here are different. They are seven inches long. So we divided three into seven, and I came up with one and three tenths. And I'm thinking you could see that little red mark here. So it's one, and then you just count over those little marks, three. And I made a mark with a permanent pen so it wouldn't uh, fade off while I was trying to mark mine. All right, so there's the seven-inch line, and I'm marking it at one and three-tenths. See, there's one, two, three, four, five, six. So we needed six, six marks this way and six this way. This one. So we've got lines here, 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 and here at one and three, six, three tenths. And I can mark that down at the bottom, can I? So this is at one inch 
increments and this one is at one and three tenths increments. So there you go on that. Now what we're going to do is what I was talking about a while ago. I'm going to do each one in different colors. So I'm just putting my ruler or my marker on that first tick mark and I'm going to draw a line to that one. So we're actually dividing our star point into rows right now. Hey Willow. Hey Willow. You see what we did? Alright, now we need them to be blocks. So we're going to go down here to the bottom, that that tick mark here, and go, I need the beveled edge. Go up to the tick mark at the top, see? There you go. Now, let's do this one. We're going to draw it in. We're going to divide it into rows again. And this time, we're going to meet that pink line. Because you want all your rows and lines kind of meeting together. And that forms a real pretty point. All right, there's our row. Now we're going to divide it into blocks. And I know sometime it, it even looks to me like I'm getting off. But it's just the... I know it probably looks more weird to you on the way the camera is angled, but... Alright, see there? We've got those two. And y'all want to do two more before I stop and just... Or you want me to just keep going? Probably wouldn't hurt. <laughs> just keep going, and if you, if you got it the first time, fast forward till I get through with this. Now, did I tell you that I'm going to do these in two parts? I can't remember. This is part one. Anyway, so if you don't, if you don't get it the first time, don't don't worry about it. You can go back and look look at it again. All right, here's the short lines again. One, two, three, four, five, and there's six. One, two, three, four, five, and there's six. One, two, three, four, five, nap. And there's six. All right, here comes the one and three tenths. are seven inch lines. And we've already got those up here. All right, let's uh, do this one in orange. 
Alright, so I've got my pen, my marker on that first tick mark. I'm going all the way up to the first tick mark on this line. green one. So we're doing blocks four and five right now. It's important to make sure these these lines match. Or, or meet up. <laughs> they meet up perfect. Especially if you've numbered it off right, you're going to be good. If one gets wonky, just measure it again. I'll do it all the time. All right, let me turn this back around this way. This is the way I had it because there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, take, take a screenshot. Are you not proud of me? I remember to put it back up. On one of the, you know, I told you I've practiced this a couple of times and I thought I had it done but most of the video was of this <laughs> just the two because I forgot to bring the camera back up a cup of coffee and some strawberries and start it again all right now here comes the part that I that confused me in the way that I could tell you about it. Now, so I figured it out. And here's what we're going to do. We've got a brown marker. And we've got a red one. And we've got a dark blue one. Yep, we've got a dark blue one, and so I'm going to use, I'm going to use the uh, pink one to mark where it needs to be white. Alright, so here's, here's what we're going to do, one block at a time. And we're going to start... Let's start at number seven. The first row in number seven. And I think this will be the easiest way to show you. So we're gonna, with number seven right here, we'll, 
this block is going to be white. This one and this one is white. And I'll go over it again. Brown, brown, and brown. So white, brown, white, white, brown, brown. Alright, then we're going to skip down to the second one. This is almost like painting a puzzle. But it's fun. Alright, so on the second row here, we have a red and a red. We have a brown. We have a white and a white and brown. Now, you still with me? We're not painting today. We're just doing a uh, doing a pattern today. All right. So, on the third row, number the seventh seventh star point on the third row we got white 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 brown brown and wait One, two, three. White, 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 brown. Oh. See, I looked at it wrong. This is not going to be burnt. It's going to be white. And white. So just taking it one row at a time like that, it really helps me. It helps me to tell you. All right, now on the fourth row down in that same number seven, we have three blocks that are red, four blocks that are red, sorry. A brown, and white. Okay, now the fifth row down will be five whites. and a brown. Now see, that's part of the eagle right in here. We'll have red and white stripes, but we're drawing, we're marking off our, where our eagle's going to be too. Alright, and then the last row will be solid red. Alright. Now, let's Let's do number six. So we've got our, we've got seven. Now we're going to go to section six, first row up here, and that is brown and brown, white, white, brown, and white. The second row is going to be brown, two whites, a brown, and 
to read. I know it sounds complicated, but it's not really. You just have to you just have to paint the blocks the right colors. And all of a sudden you see this eagle come into life. All right, now the third row down. We have white, white, brown, and white, white, white. All right, we've got the fourth row. We've got white, brown, and then red. For the last four. And it's going to be easier for you to take a screenshot of this that, or you'll have to listen at it a dozen times. But you can do that. I don't mind. Alright. We're on the fifth row. Section six. Brown. And all the rest of them in that row is white. See what's happening is it's going to be red, white, red, white, red, white. So that's going to be the red and white stripes. And then for the, the sixth row, all that is going to be red. So I don't know if you could see or not, but see the eagles. Part of the eagle's tail feather here in brown, and then that's the white, and then here's more brown for the eagle's body. All right, now let's go to section five. And section five is the green one. Now that this one is a little bit more. Di a little more different. <laughs> it's going to be a little more different. This first one is going to be brown. And the next two, we're going to divide it in half. We're going from left, bottom left to the top. We're going to do both of them like that. You see? And the top part is going to be brown on both of those. And the bottom part is going to be white. So the, see, we're forming the eagle's wing now, the bottom of the wing. And that's going to be white. And for the rest of this one, it's pretty simple. We have red. Ah, broke it. Let me. Sharpen it again. Okay. Before we do one and four and the rest of two and three, we're going to do that eagle's head. Because if, if you stuck with me to the bottom part of that eight-point star, then you're in it for the long haul. <laughs> so I had to make sure that I had this right before I could tell you. So let's go, I'm, I'm just gonna go down this way. These two rows right here are what we're working on. So it's where the two and three come together, those two rows. Now, what we're gonna do, and I'm gonna, Get a pen that you can see. 
those two right here are going to be our navy colors. So we're not going to worry about them right now. In fact, I'll go ahead and mark them navy. So you won't have to worry about them. But these, the next two, you see, I don't know if you can see that line or not, but this one, we're going to divide it in half with a pen that you can see. We're just dividing that block in half. Thought you could see it. Let me do it with this. You know when you're doing it, you're going to be doing it with something different on your board. But And then the, that one. So we, we went, divided those two in half. Alright, for the, uh, on the second row here, we're just going to extend that line where we started here. We're just going to extend it out. So you've got a straight line here. And then on that second row, we're just going to come down one. And we're drawing the eagle's beak. And we're going to divide that line. See? So you already got the top of his head. Now, we're just going to come down two more. And we're going to come down one on this side. All right, so you've got the top. So we're we're on the second row in number two, and the second row in number three, right here. So on the one, two, three, four, fifth block on the second row in both two and three, we're going to divide those in half. And we're going to come down one on each side. And now we're in the sections one and four. These first lines here. And we're going to divide this row in half. But not quite. Not quite. Okay, so number four, there's your first row, and here's your second row, one, two, three, four, five. The fifth block in that second row, put your tick mark there, and we're going to connect it to the bottom of that eagle shoulder. That's right. All right. Now, come over to section one. Second row over. One, two, three, four, five. And make your tick mark in the middle of the bottom of that. Fifth block right in the middle. And we're going to connect it to the other half of the eagle. See that? Now, we're going to connect these together. See that? So, where we made our tick marks, we just went all the way in. And then you see this, these lines are part of your eagle. So, there, that's the eagle's head. Aren't you proud of yourself? Take a screenshot of that. And that will make a lot more sense to do it that way than, than trying to just tell you how to block it. So all of this, these, this is going to be white. I'll go ahead and label it. Times can you write W? Yeah. 
And this is white too now. That's right in here. But these two will be yellow. And that's his little beak. His big beak. Now, you don't have to make it yellow. If you want to make it a gold or a color or something like that, you can. All right, now, I think we're getting to a place where you're... If you followed along this far, you're doing good. <laughs> and like I said earlier, this is going to be two parts, so I will be showing you this pattern again as I'm painting. But let's finish up marking... Um, let's do section four because we still have more to do. Just marking our find my brown again. All right, so let's, let's put our ruler right here at the end of that part of that wing. And all right, we're in section four. This is brown. This part's brown. You'll we'll have three more sections that are brown. And you know, this is the top part. So it's going to start being navy. We're not doing red and white anymore down here. Okay. Remember this part's white right in here. It's the ah, I just broke it again. Brown. All the way up here. I still got a little piece of it that will write. And then navy. On the third row, say that is brown all the way up, and the last one is navy. Now we got to we got to do some white on his wing now. So we're gonna do. We're going to divide, let's see, we're dividing one, two, three, four. We're dividing the first four, now we're on the fourth row, fourth section, and we're going to do four. We're going to divide four. Alright, so the bottom part of his wing is here. So those bottom parts are going to be white. And the top part's brown. And then this one's brown. And that one's navy. I know y'all can do this. All right, one, two, three, four, five. The fifth row, we're gonna have one, two, three, three, four, five blocks that's gonna be navy. And on the last row, we're gonna have four blocks that's gonna be navy. And I'll tell you what I'm doing. Um, these three blocks here. Now I'm going to put a star right here on, on two and three. I'm going to put a star. And since we don't have room for a star on at the on four, one and four, we're just going to the same color that I paint the star, I'm going to paint these three blocks. So that's not going to show up very well. So I'm just going to put, I'm going to put gold 
if the paint, if it were right, I'm going to put gold. And I'm going to go ahead and go over here in those three blocks and mark that gold. So it's just those three on the end, so the tip of the star will be gold. All right, so we've got number four. We've got to go up in section three. You know, we've got our eagle, but we need to have a this one. So, we mark it. This is going to be navy. This is going to be brown and brown. But this one is going to be divided in half. It needs to kind of be slanted. It's not really going to be divided in half. Line it up with that, the one up above it here, but you don't want to go all the way up there, just like that. And this, that part is going to be navy, and this part's going to be brown. So you won't, see here, here coming along is wing right here, and that's the part that's uh, kind of pushed up. See that pattern that I did right here? You want that kind of arch right there. It just gives these wings some definition there. All right, so then that comes down and meets the top of his shoulder. That's right. All right, now let's do the same thing in section two that the last line in section two coming down toward the eagle. We're going to divide. Let's see, this one's going to be navy. And we're going to divide that one in half. Not quite half. We're going to line it up. That second one, we're going to line it up right at the top. Or, you know, you see where I'm at. And then we're going to line it up, but we're just going to draw the line here. So that part's navy, and this part's brown, brown, and brown. And then it flows right into that. Okay. All right, we're almost done. We just got to do section one like we did section four. So we've got our gold already. So let's get into section one. I mean the first row right here in that section one. And we've got, I'm going to have to sharpen that. <laughs> All right. So then we've got navy, and then brown, brown, and brown. And the second row, we've got navy, and brown all the way down. This one is brown. I missed that one, didn't I? That's brown. Alright. So, in the third row, this whole row here is brown. And I would color all this in, but it would just be a mess. All right, now we got a brown. I'm 
I'll just like break out the bad words. No, I ain't teasing. But I need to write that down. That's a brown. I wonder if I got another brown somewhere. This one would work. I'm going to give that one to the trash can. <laughs> Alright, here's the brown. Now, now let's divide them in half. We needed four. Remember, these are all going to be that darker so you can see it in case you're taking a screenshot of it all right so this is the one that the top part is brown and the bottom part is white now now this is Navy. That's navy. Now, so there's your eagle and his wings. And we've got that part here. And Now, up here, I'm just going to write navy. Because what's going to happen is that I'm going to take my Cricut and make two star stickers. Or I may have some stickers over here that would work. Let me look. Yeah, I think that, that might be too big. I don't know. But I've got a couple more. You can't hardly see them. But anyway, I'm gonna put this. I'm gonna paint whatever color I decide to paint the stars. If I can find a pretty gold over here, I might use it. But I'm gonna paint that area and make sure I get it real smooth, and it'll be gold. And then when it gets dry, I'm gonna put that star sticker over top of it. And then I'm gonna paint all this that I just wrote navy on. All of it's gonna be navy. And then, when that's good and dry, I'll put about three, four coats on it. When it's good and dry, I'll peel that sticker off and I'll have my star. And I won't have to go around touching all that up. I'll probably have to touch a little bit of it up. Um, but that Cricut stickers work pretty good. All right. There it is. And... I'll show you I got I got three of them right here that I worked on and messed up and then I got a couple of them over here that I did and I think we got through it finally. Don't you? Alright. Hang on a minute, let me fix the camera so you can take a whole screenshot. Okay, there you go. Now my plan is, I'm using red, white, and blue, and when I come back for part two, I'll show you those colors, and I'm probably going to use a dark brown and ultra white for the eagle and the hit the white on him. I may use a different color of white for the, the white in the stars. It needs to be a pure white though. I don't know. And I may have the background here. I may end up putting that uh, a real light blue just so my white will stand out that's in the star. And I'm probably going to make my border the navy color. We'll see what happens. 
But I hope you can see these measurements here. And I hope, I hope you'll try it. I really do. I hope you'll try this because it's going to be so pretty. But I will come back in part two. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for hanging in there with me.